Marine officer claims, I have spent over 15 years on Mars in a secret space program. According to claims of a retired officer, not only have humans made it to Mars in the past, but we have developed a secret space program and flotilla that operates in space. According to claims by retired officer Randy Kramer, initially known under the pseudonym Captain Kane, Captain K, not only have humans reached Mars in the past, but we have developed a secret space program into uh, and also a flotilla that operates in space. A close-up image of an astronaut on Mars kneeling, looking at a rocket in the distance, a spaceman or spacewoman dressed in full space viewed suit viewed from behind, kneeling on rocks, looking into the distance where a space rocket is at rest on the flat, flat terrain. There seem to be two versions filtered out to society when it comes to space, Mars and the classified files linking the two. The first is that we have not been to Mars and that there's a lot of work to be done and that our technology is still very limited. The other is extremely the opposite, a version that has been endorsed by various individuals over the last decade. The question here is who's telling the truth and would it be ridiculous to think that we have reached Mars and colonize the Red Planet thanks to the secret space program. According to Captain K, who is a former U.S. Marine, he was stationed on the Red Planet for years, and his mission was to protect the five human colonies from the indigenous life forms from Mars. Not only did he spend years on Mars, but he also served aboard a giant space aircraft carrier for three years, According to the former U.S. Marine, he worked for the Mars Defense Force, MDF, which is owned by the Mars Colonies Corporation, MCC, which is basically a conglomerate of financial government and tech companies. Kramer and his team were part of a special section of the United States Marines with a highly classified mission to protect and secure the existence of five newly established colonies on the surface of the Red Planet. The Earth Defense Force, another secret military branch, has military recruits from countries like the United States, China, and Russia. Furthermore, Kramer claims that his training took place on the moon within a secret base called LOC, or Lunar Operations Command, on Saturn's moon Titan, and even in deep space. Not only do we have technology to reach Saturn in outer space, Mars is a planet teeming with life, according to the statements from the former Marine. According to Randy Kramer, the space fleet has technology far superior to what exists on Earth. The different ships have different propulsion systems that allow the space fleet to reach the borders of our solar system with ease, he says. And according to Kramer, the propulsion systems use fission and fusion-powered thrusters, room drive and anti-gravity technology, advances made available to humanity by the friendly gray aliens, he claims. Kramer states that there are two indigenous species that inhabit Mars, the reptilians and the insectoids, both very intelligent. Reptilians are much more aggressive species, defending their territory at all costs. The insectoids are equally intelligent and capable, but are more passive, he says. The fact that Mars is a planet capable of supporting life has been supported by several researchers, including Dr. Brandenburg, who even claims that extraterrestrial beings waged a nuclear war on the Red Planet and that today we can find evidence of that. According to Dr. Brandenburg, the ancient Martians known as Sidonians and Utopians were massacred in the gigantic nuclear attack and evidence of the genocide can still be seen today. According to scientists, there are very large remnants of Xenon-129 on Mars, and the only process we know of that produces Xenon-129 is a nuclear explosion. In a television interview, Dr. Brandenburg stated, two big disasters happen on Mars. He told Supreme Master TV, pointing to Utopia on a map, one here, and then an asteroid impact happened here, and Sidonia was right in the middle of it. That is puzzling. Why would so many bad things happen in an area of Mars that just happens to have archaeology? Although Captain K has no physical evidence to back up his claims, he says he's doing everything he can to obtain 
highly classified documents that would prove his accounts to be true. Parts of Ka Captain Kane's testimony uh, much match ma that of uh, Michael Ralph, another whistleblower who claims to have spent 20 years on the Red Planet, Laura Madeline Eisenhower, great-granddaughter of former President Eisenhower, claims that an attempt was made to recruit her for a human colony on Mars, led by researcher Dr. Hal Puthoff. So what do you think about this? This is by Myth and Mystery on Collective Spark. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.